My name is Graham Haber. I'm the photographer for the Morgan Library, a small institution in the city of New York, founded by J.P. Morgan. He was a voracious collector, collecting every kind of art, but he was especially passionate about books. The collection is over half a million objects, but of those objects, many of them are made up of hundreds of parts. Digitization becomes a, a massive undertaking. From December 2012 to December 2013, he's made about 7,000 images. We digitize parts of the collection as books are created or for scholars on request, or we digitize whole objects for facsimile or for scholarship. The two cameras that we have are the DT Arcam, camera bench with a motorized head, Schneider lens and Schneider uh, electronic shutter. On top is an IQ 180, which also I can put on the 645 DF, and I can take that around the museum. I can do exterior shots, I can do portraits, I can shoot three-dimensional objects. It was clear even to the non-technical people the superiority of the phase one system. There are things that the camera can see that the eye almost can't see. And often when I'm photographing things and working with conservation, we'll see things that they didn't realize were happening. We're at 100% and we can go across the image and, and check if we're holding focus. It seemed like a no-brainer and to work with digital transitions and phase one because there was already so many cultural heritage institutions working with phase one cameras in the capture one system that there was a community we could rely on and they understand the needs of the community. The most important thing as a cultural heritage institution is preserving the rare material. Only a certain number of people can look at a 700 year old manuscript without creating a lot of damage to that manuscript but by having very high quality imaging that there's no need for that. At the same time getting the best capture, the best fidelity, the best color that's available. One of the prized pieces of our collection is the Gutenberg Bible. That completely changed the dissemination of knowledge in its time. Digitization allows a similar dissemination, and so a similar revolution is going on now. It breaks down the walls of time and space, and now it's accessible to the entire world.